Who's ready for some goat humor? Buckle up as we dive into a world where goats rule the punchline. How many can you guess? I'm about 50-50. Ever wondered what you'd call a goat on a mountain? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think, it's simply a hillbilly. And have you ever tried having a conversation with a goat? It's a real challenge, they just can't help butting in. If you encounter a goat that's extremely lazy, don't be confused. That's just Billy Idol. Now imagine a little goat playing pranks on a flock of sheep. When caught, the little one simply shrugs and says, sorry, just kidding. But then, when the little goat's pranks start to disturb the father goat's important work, he exclaims, for goat's sake, stop creating a ruckus. And what about the goat with a thick beard wearing t-shirts? Well, we simply call him a goatee. Do you know what Patriots Billy Goat fans say when their team starts losing in a football game? Here we goat again! The first nursery rhyme little goats learn in school? Believe it or not, it's row, row, row your goat. Hairless goats, on the other hand, always want one thing in life, mohair. Now imagine a little goat running late for school. The father goat has no choice but to say, listen kid, you are late, so you better goat moving now. And the sweetest of all? When a husband goat calls his wife with so much love, he calls her bae. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.